Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. <clears throat> Salakia and it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all the and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so our mind. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His own power, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder, bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless if people here forbear. He coming for clouds, man, with, with everything that's going on. <laughs> With everything that's going on from the inflation, you know what I'm saying, inflation, the crime, the wars, the storms, the the dirty, pissy, lead infested water, uh, look, the lies, <laughs> the corruption. Uh, look, look, man, along with the, the missiles, the love of many, what's the call on top of all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you got this to worry about. You 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 people are in trouble. Y'all got this to worry about. Chariots, what they only call UFOs. This is what the Lord is coming back with, right? He cometh with clouds, representing the chariots. You see, he come with clouds, representing what they only call UFOs. Let's um, let's read into the article a little bit. Just the headline: Stranger Things, incredibly clear photo showing fifty foot. It was fifty feet long, disc shaped UFO, which is a chariot of the Lord. Emerging from storm before vanishing into space, man. So the Lord be having these angels control these different storms. You see, these different storms, these lightning storms, these floods, these hurricanes. Man, the angels will be down here getting it in, man. And say, and the scripture say the Lord is coming back in a cloud, aka a chariot. It's gonna be the size of a mountain. I ain't gonna be able to make it too long because I'm pressed for time. I gotta head out. You know, we got to go make our daily bread. But I want to—I just wanted to bring out this article, letting you know, more chariot sighting. And this is a year turn up too. When you people see these things up close in person, you're going to shit on yourself, man. Hope you got some pampers on. Let's read the article again. Stranger Things. Incredibly clear photo shows 50-foot disc, and they get way bigger than this. A dude was doing, um, I think it was a Latin dude, was doing a live feed. And a chariot came through his live feed from, from NASA. Come on, man. It was, it was a couple of times the size of Earth. What are you people going to do with that? A clear photo shows 50-foot disc-shaped UFO, which is a chariot of the Lord. It's an IFO, identifiable, identifiable flying object to us, emerging from storm before vanishing into space. What is the military going to do with that? It's trying to just disappear, you no know saying, within the blink of an eye. Come on, man. Revelation 1 and 7, behold, which means to look, he coming with clouds. Look, you, you see one right there. Meaning, who, who's coming with clouds? Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, man. All right? So, so this the shootings and the, everything that you see going on, that's going to be the least of y'all worries, man. All right? And every eye shall see him because it's going to be that huge, the size of a mountain. Ezra said that. And and they also which pierced him. If you don't get reincarnation out of this scripture, something really got to be wrong with you. Because the Lord said, well, look, when he come with the cloud, a.k.a. the chariot, every eye is going to see him, even the people that pierced him, man. All right? The Roman centurions that pierced Lord Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly called Jesus over 2,000 years ago, they're back on the scene. And you people ain't got to believe. They're going to believe because they're going to shit their draws. They're going to shit their draws, man. All right? And they also which pierced them, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail, shall moan, shall scream bitterly. You see, shall howl like a werewolf, man, terrified. And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. That's why the scripture said, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. What end is it for you? This is prove what the clouds is. He says he's coming with clouds. Remember, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. For what end is it for you? We're in it. Why are you so happy? You wicked as hell. Why are you so happy that the Lord is on his way? Man, the day of the Lord is full of anger, crew, violence, wrath. Come on, man. It just said that um, all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, our mind, what is it, uh, 104? I think it is 104. Psalm chapter 104. Let's see. Yep. 
Psalm chapter 104, verse 3. Who led the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? You see? So you could be looking up in the sky sometimes. You, you think you're looking at clouds, but it's really chariots up there cloaking themselves to look like clouds. You see? What, what, do you, what is the... Who the hell is going to be able to touch that, man? You don't even know if it's up there or not. It could be right in front of you, and you don't even know it, man. What are you, what are you people going to do with that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Once again, shit your draws. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? So, so, so we ain't seen nothing yet. We, we can't forget about the chariots. We, we read how the Lord bringing the storms, the floods, and things of that nature. We, we still can't forget about them chariots with the ignorant called UFOs, man. Because they're going to come down hard on this place, Psalm 68. I mean, hard. They're going to come down hard. All, it says no, none of these heathens are going to be able to stand his indignation, man. None of them. This is just a quick little read. Psalm 68, 17, and it reads, the chariots, remember, a.k.a. the clouds, a.k.a. the UFOs, so-called, the chariots of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, are 20,000. 20,000, even thousands on thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands, of thousands of angels. So what you're seeing right here on the screen, man, we ain't seen nothing yet. Just imagine thousands upon, just imagine chariots flooding the skies, man. And look, not coming to play no games, all right? You, you, ooh, ma, mommy, it's, it's mommy, what is that, mommy? It's going to be zapping your damn head off like, zoom, 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 shooting them, shooting them laser beams out, concentrated fire. People are going to be trying to run. You better go check that movie out on War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise in it or go back to the one before that. Them, them chariots are shooting them laser beams, turning people back into ashes, man. You see? The chariots of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, 20,000, even thousands of angels, man. All right? And they're coming to get busy. The Lord is among them. Lord Yahweh Shah is among them in the biggest chariot known to mankind. Ezra said when he see it, when he seen it, he, he was terrified. And then Ezra said he seen, you know what I'm saying, the Lord is zapping, you know what I'm saying, these different military um vehicles and planes and things of that na nature out of the sky. Say the people that was trying to fight against him was scared. They were so afraid, man. They were so afraid with dirt's fight, man. He said, he said he ain't seen nothing but dust and ashes, and he was afraid, man. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy places, man. All right? But oh yeah, you 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 wanna you wanna play around with a day like that. You're gonna wait till all hell break loose to try to seek the Lord. Tell him, Lord, forgive me for how I've been acting. Forgive me for twerking on that pole. Forgive me for selling the drugs. Forgive me for being a robber. Forgive me for being a goon. Come on, man. Forgive me for being an adulterer. Man, you got some crazy videos coming out on the on the men and women that's been committing adultery, man. I mean, the Lord been slicing and dicing, man. Turn back, Israel. Turn back from your wickedness, man. The Lord getting big judgment going forth, man. I'm afraid at the judgments of Yahweh Bashim. Look, look, very afraid, man. Behold, Isaiah 13. We're gonna see if we can get that scripture. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, which means the look, the day of the Lord cometh. Cruel. But with wrath and fierce anger, you see, the day of the Lord is a day of cruelness, of wrath and fierce anger to lay the to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Look, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Not love them. You got the pastor in that church still lying to the people. Tell from the God of the Bible hates the sin, but he loves the sinner, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. Uh, what is the sinner? The person is actually committing the sin, transgressing the law, breaking the laws of the Bible. That's what that's what the sinner is. All right. So, Mr. Lord, with all that nonsense, yeah, we, yeah, we're afraid. That's part of the judgment of the Lord. Let's get this right quick. Because I mentioned so, yeah, we're, we're yeah we're afraid of the Lord. All right. Or who you equally call God and Jesus? We're, we're terrified of him. Right. We're straight up terrified, man. All right? What do you treat people talking about, man? Psalm chapter 119, verse 20. My soul breaketh for the longing that it have unto thy judgments at all times. Is that what I wanted? 
Look, look, look. We we fear the Lord, man. I don't think that's what I wanted, but my soul breaketh for the longing that it have unto thy judgments at all times, man. So so we, we fear the Lord. Shut up judgments coming down. I'm gonna see if I can get that. Bear with me. It was it was Psalms 119 and 120. Psalm chapter 119. Look, we're supposed to be afraid. We're supposed to be very afraid of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus, man. All right, Psalms 119 and 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. Do you do you not hear that is we're supposed to be scared to death of the Lord? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Your creator, damn right, you're supposed to be fear. You're supposed to fear, man, what the God of the Bible can do to you, man. Straight up, man. Supposed to be begging and praying for mercy like I don't know what, man. Psalms 119 and 120. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. Look, and I am afraid of thy judgments. The Lord sent it forth judgments. Are you not afraid? Are you Israelites not afraid? Something's got to be wrong with you if you're not afraid of the Lord. So, so, but I'm not afraid, but, but I love the Lord. Are you serious? My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments, man. Because cause why? The judgments of the Lord, we're going to get it again. Let's go right back. Let's go right back to that Isaiah. Let's go right back to that Isaiah. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. But you're not afraid because you're a thug. You, you, you're not afraid because you're on drugs and it got your brain all fried, died, and laid to the side. But you, look, be very afraid. Be very afraid. I think this is probably going to be my last one because I got a roll. This is Isaiah 66. Because you got the chariots up there. Look, look, more chariot sightings. More, more chariot sightings. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15, and it reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire. You see? And with his chariots like a whirlwind. So simultaneously, you're going to have the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, missiles. Missiles. Yeah. Coming from one side of the earth to the other, right? And with the ignorant called UFOs coming. Shooting laser beams, man. All right, because the Lord said he's coming from the east. So the, before the Lord even get to, to the Americas, he's going to be destroying shit, man. Straight up, man. For, excuse my language. You might got babies in the room, but hell, you you use rude speech around them every day. So, man, miss us with that nonsense, man. Somebody came on the comment board, you know what I'm saying? You using so-called curse words while you're reading the Bible. Well, hell, you used to so-called curse words. You use them every damn day against your babies. You know what I'm saying, and, and your co-workers, and, and oh, you're on the phone, and you singing all these rap uh, songs. Well, messes with that nonsense, man. All right, this message is deadly serious, and you worried about a so-called curse word, which is a rude speech. You worried about that? You better be worried about the violence. You better worry about inflation. You better be worried about some some animals eating your damn feet off. You better be worried about a chariot shooting your top off. You see. You better be worried about a house fire. You better be worried about a flood. You better be worried about an earthquake. You better be worried about the, the lack of food. All right? You better be worried about the, um, the uh, lawless community tie where you ain't going to be safe. That's what you better worry about. Once again, Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the Lord comes with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Remember, we just read in Psalm 68, the chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands, on top of thousands, on top of thousands, on top of thousands of, of chariots, of angels. The Lord is among them like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead, meaning judge with all flesh and the slain, meaning the killing of the Lord shall be many and the killing of the Lord shall be many. So when you see these vehicles right here, tss, that's your ass. That's your ass. You're going to say, ooh, what's that? Ooh. Your whole head going to come off, man. Playing around with the Lord. We just read the Lord coming crude and, and only a fool would despise this word. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. Look, this is going to be a day of darkness, man, a, a day of cruelness, 
Let's, 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 can, can, is, am, I, am I allowed to bring out one more, Lord? Because I am kind of pressed for time. Lord willing, the Lord, the Lord, we're here. Come into thou into thy chambers. I, I'm gonna have to make a part two to this. Lord willing, when I get off, because I am pressed for time. I got the roll. Lord willing, though, saying the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. Look, man. A day of darkness. A day of, well, I'm gonna read that last verse again. Verse 16, for by fire, Isaiah 66 and 15 16. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. I can't I can't bring out one more. Let's get this. Let's get um Amos. Let's get Amos 5. We'll, we'll, we'll bring that out right quick. It's a quick read. I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quick. This is Amos chapter 5. Verse, uh, let's see, 18, yep. Amos chapter 5, verse 18, woe, destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord, because you don't even know what it's going to consist of. Remember, I just read Psalms 119 and 120. I tremble at the judgments and the wrath of the Lord. You don't see judgment going forth. You support, You better tremble, Israel. You better tremble, Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you better tremble, man. And this devil coming down with a great wrath. You got a whole lot to worry about, boy. Straight up, woe unto you, the destruction unto you, the desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? So I can't wait till the Lord come. You wicked is on the way. I can't wait till the Lord come. To what end is it for you? Why are you so happy? You're not rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. You see, you're not doing what's commanded of you to the best of your ability. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light as if a man did flee from a lion. Just imagine that. Imagine running from a lion. Just imagine that. Imagine running from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him in your security. Suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come upon you, man. All right. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. So you people got a whole lot to worry about. Look, man, and this is going to be the cherry on the top, man. All right? A cherry coming. With they, look, a whole lot of chariots coming, shooting laser beams. And it ain't no way to escape, man. All right? The Lord said even when you think you're secure, you're, you're not. All right? Just want to throw a little quick hit. You know what I'm saying? I was reading this article. Thought it would be, you know what I'm saying, um, very, it's most definitely very important to bring out, man. The chariots of the Lord are 20,000, even thousands of angels. Strange, strange things. Incredibly clear photo. You know, look, you look, no more lies. No one can lie to you anymore. It's too much evidence now. Showing 50-foot disc-shaped so-called UFO, which is a chariot, emerging from a storm before vanishing into space. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Fear the Lord. Shalom.